And that's why I'm giving you this most solemn duty to transform the venerable Resurrection Day into a more inclusive and equitable affair. But my lord, if, if we were to take the, the holiday and, and infuse it with pagan rituals and give it, it would confuse the parishioners. They would have no idea what's going to happen. Enough! Am I not the Emperor of Rome? The East and the West? I have spoken. Make it so. But my lord, do, do you have an example, some suggestions for us to use? Welcome to the realm of ecclesiological intrigue, where the clergy finds itself enmeshed and wrapped in a complex web of tradition, politics, and the unyielding march of revisionist history. This anachronistic monastery exists at the edge of reality itself, a cynic shrine to a time that never was the laws of which appear and exist only in the mind itself. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a wondrous world of pure imagination. The next stop, the Skeptic Zone. Oh, it's just you. Just me? Yeah, just you. What is this? You like it? I've been working on it all morning. It's called the 52 blessings we have on behalf of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yes, it's rather lovely, except it's supposed to be for children. They'll love the colors. It's a multimedia presentation. We're what? in the dark ages. So? No color. Everything's in black and white. Oh. But well, it's still the best calligraphy I've done. Well, I would say, yeah, it's rather wonderful, except nothing says let's celebrate the Resurrection Day like trying to squint at fine calligraphy. Is this Jesus or is that a well-dressed shepherd? Do you have anything better? I'm glad you asked. So Emperor Constantine, bless his heart, just gave us a task. We are to take pagan traditions and infuse them into the uh, resurrection day to give it more life, to make it more inclusive, to make it more equitable and, and endearing to everybody around. You cannot take two contradictory beliefs and slam them together in a violent collision. And besides, isn't that stealing? Uh, yes, but they didn't copyright it. They don't have a trademark for it. So donkey droppings on them, it's all ours now. So. Emperor Constantine said this, and I got an idea, okay? I did some research before I talked to you about this, and I'm telling you, Mithras is a great one to use. He has such traditions that are just like Jesus that we can just like suck it all into Resurrection Day and make part of it. It'll be like theirs, but only better. Listen to this. He was a traveling teacher who performed miracles. What does that have to do with the resurrection? There's more! There is more. He sacrificed himself for world peace. And he was buried in a tomb and resurrected three days later. If you ask me, I think we've got a winner here. This is a Persian deity? Yes, but... Uh, being so you want to pull some old Persian deity out of the grave but and pop right. right? Oh! <laughs> Mother Inferior Mary Sue, it's so good to see you. Yes, but he's not right. I'm telling you, this is, you don't have anything better. This is, it's I mean, Aestara. Who? Aestara, the Germanic god associated with spring and fertility. Ah, somebody's getting in touch with nature right now, I see. So what does she have for this that we could? She's got cute, sparkly, colorful eggs. Eggs? Ah, colorful. Colorful, yeah. wait. Are you two working together here? This is the Dark Ages. We get no Technicolor until the Renaissance. It doesn't work. Hmm, you can still see a spark. Besides, bunnies? Cute little bunnies? Not in the sanctuary, we, we don't. They leave little droppings, little messes. And besides, have you ever seen the little bunnies clumped together? They even want to grow. 
That's a good question. Uh, yes, we want to grow. We want to expand. That's what Emperor Constantine wanted, and he's got his sword, by the way, and we have to listen to what he said. But no one's going to back you on this. Brother, Brother Thaddeus, Thaddeus will. will. Oh. And so what? Do you have anyone else more respected than Brother Thaddeus? Everyone likes him. Okay, okay. Everybody does love him tremendously, loves him. However, I'm going to go talk to Brother Inspirationist Philosophus. Mm. He loves Mithra. I don't ever heard him talking about it. He talks about him all the time. And then he's doing a lecture right now. I can go, I can go talk to him about it. And then, okay, by, by Vespers this evening, I'm going to have proved that Mithraic tradition is like a thousand times better than your bunny loving, egg tossing little goddess here with the little droppings all around. No, I'm going to prove it to you absolutely positively. You can talk to Thaddeus all you want. I'm talking to IP. As a clergy go on their quest for enlightenment, you, dear viewer, can make history. After all, this isn't reality. If the skeptics can make their own version of the Easter origin story, why not you? So, what made-up myth should we combine with Easter now? Should we mix Mithras with Christ? Or instead, should we combine Oyster, Ostra, Ostera, Yoster, Yahoo with Christ? The choice is yours in the Twilight Zone. I'm waiting.